welcome back to part two of building a modern day CMS. So I started talking about the technology stack of this project uh, just last time, but I want to uh, just get a little more, a little more in depth here. Uh, first of all, we've got Angular MySQL, Node.js server, Heroku, AWS S3 image storage compressed before uploaded, uh, after uploaded by user. Sorry about that. Okay. After. We've got Google Cloud Console for the MySQL hosting. We'll see how much it, it's going to cost over the course of time. Might change. Angular UI Router and EJS uh, that handles the routes and the templates. Socket IO, which we're going to turn into either a live chat feature or a bulletin board feature. Passport authentication and a node mailer NPM package, which uses Mailgun. That's a pretty good sum up of everything that the, the technology that's covered within with. It's in these tutorials. This site is called canva.com, by the way. You can use it to build a resume or anything you'd like. It's great. So we're going to go back in here. We're going to go into the app, donations. As you can see, it also uses cookies, and it remembers the user. That's good. And uh, this is the live bulletin feature. As you'll see, currently it doesn't work. Pizza Hut. Uh, let's see, Pizza Hut. Nah, it doesn't work at all. So we have to fix that. Uh, stat section, that's going to be used for managing the pages somehow. Uh, we'll figure that out. The community section, which saves um, saves posts. Okay, it saves it into the DB. Once we have the, the HTML stored in the database, it's going to be relatively simple to just, um, to just pull it up in, uh, in the code and so on. Uh, let's go back over here. We have the search. Okay, within the search itself, we have another nice feature, which is if you click on this one, as you'll see, this is Kramer 16. This is an ng repeat. If I click on visit profile, have a look at what happens to the URL slash home slash search and profile ID one and Kramer 16. It just multiplies the ID. And this is the email, Kramer16. It's pretty much a customized profile page for that specific user. So that's a really nice feature. And you could do that pretty much with, uh, that could have a lot of different use cases. It's uh, just Angular UI router, and it's using uh, parameters within the URL, which are then fetched by the Angular code and then reused somehow in the logic. Um, OK, this is another thing that I stumbled across, administration. Uh, it's not such a great feature. I was just playing around with some drop down features. And we have the contact feature. This is an exciting one. Let's say my name is Leticia. I have a free app. Amp it up. I use a couple of uh, email accounts. This is an example. Let's see here. Leticia. Okay. Here's the email. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to paste that in there. Okay, phone number. Okay, we are live on YouTube, baby. Okay, and submit. And bada bing, bada boom. It takes me back to the home page. Not sure why it still has this contact here. You may want to get rid of that somehow, and the contact stays in the URL, even if we even though it just doesn't disrupt currently the flow. But OK, uh, we go back into the inbox. We're going to go into more. We're going to go into the spam. And there it is. You have a new contact request. We are live on YouTube, baby. So Mailgun works already. That's good. And uh, it's based off the user input. Um, we can have a look at that soon, but uh, um, the We'll have to investigate why it's going to spam in order to fix it and uh, get it sent straight to the inbox, which it is possible according to my research. Uh, let's see. OK, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So uh, in the next video, we're going to actually get started uh, understanding the layout of the code and uh, trying to plan what kind of features users may want to have. Uh, we're going to go with a lean methodology, only uh, prioritize the features that users are going to actually enjoy and appreciate. So we'll be right back after this.